alone at last. No one to talk to, no one to bother me. Just a little peace and quiet. Thank God. Yeah, latest installment. Thanks. Still no luck in finding your necklace. No. I'm sure it'll turn up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Spencer. Hi. I like that. <laughs> you missing something? Now that you're here, not a thing. Marcus, welcome. Hey, Justin. Hey. What's that? Good to support your mom? Oh, man, you know this. That's good. I think she'll appreciate that. She's not getting any support from her husband. Sweetheart. Hi. How are you? Hey, Mom. How are you doing? Oh, no. Sorry. No kiss. Just finished the lipstick. <laughs> right. Lipstick. <Okay. laughs> so, uh, when do we get started? Pam isn't here yet. Oh, wait. I, I thought she wasn't coming. She said she's ready to get back to work. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Look, I need to check on my guests. Let me show you the control booth. Okay, cool. All right. I'm gonna go adjust them, up. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, sorry. Slow down. Slow down. You're not I can late. just do my makeup at the chair. I think all I need is a little bit of powder. And an ice pack, Pammy. You've been crying. <sighs> is it that obvious? I am so sorry. I'm so sorry about your mother, Pam. <sighs> Thank you, Don. Look, if you if you don't want to do this, no, you no, don't no. have to. Really, it's okay. Joe must go on. Besides, I don't want to disappoint my fans. They don't tune in to hear you jabbering about forest recreation. <laughs> Funny. Mrs. Jones, right this oh, there's way. Whip. I'm pretty sure Mrs. Pam and Donna will make you go right home. Hi, Pam. Whip. I didn't expect you to be here. Well, I didn't want to throw you in the lion's den on your own. <laughs> oh, today's episode is the PR face-off. Jackie Yim versus Forest Creations. Mom, you won't regret this. Am I really doing this online dating? I can't, I can't believe I'm doing it. Hey, you never know. You might meet the perfect guy. You have a match. Oh, wow. Look, I got one. 90% compatibility. Wow, that's great. He doesn't have a picture. Well, I didn't put a picture on yours. And really, is that the most important thing to you? <laughs> he sent you a message. What, what, what do I do now? What? Well, read it. What, where are you going? I got to work thing. Sweetheart, look, I, I know you're stressed. And I know you don't really want to go to work. What? to work? No, not tonight. Catwalk's taping. You want to catch it with me? Oh, is that your way of saying baby don't go? You bet it is. Mm. Eric. I know, I know. You said you wanted to be alone. Well, I did want to be alone. Well, you shouldn't be. Now, you sit here and pout, and I'll make the martinis. We'll make it a double. Both in the medical field. I'm intrigued. I'd be interested to learn more we should get together. 
Wow. Get together that. It's kind of fast. Nothing high pressure, just a cup of coffee somewhere public. Call me old fashioned. This online stuff is useful, especially for a busy professional like myself. But it's no substitute for two people meeting face to face. So what do you say would you like to meet? Come on, you spend your days with your patients and your nights sadly here with us. How are you going to meet someone? I, I could have stayed angry with her, I guess, all the way to the end. That would have been a shame. Yeah, but so like me. I'll tell you something you didn't know about me. I can hold a grudge. No, really? Yes. Thank God it didn't work out that way. We made peace with one another, so. Now that she's gone and my father's gone, all that anger and pain is gone with them. You think so? You think it's really gone? I hope so. I think so. I feel free. I I feel unencumbered. I I feel like my own self again, you know. My own person. Stephanie Douglas. Forrester. Douglas. My own person again. Look, I'm really happy in this partnership with Jackie and no, it's okay being over there with Taylor for the time being. I, I've got the children, the grandchildren. And you have Donna. And you and I are still a part of each other's lives. Are we? Where would you be tonight if Donna weren't working? She and I would be at the opera. In our opera seats. <laughs> We have a great show for you today. Joining us at the studio, we have Whip Jones, the PR genius at Jackie M, and Steffi Forrester, the wonderkin behind Forrester's Hollywood Glamour campaign. Welcome to the program. Thank you for inviting me. It's great. Now, both of your campaigns have been generating a lot of excitement in the fashion world, especially yours, Steffi. Oh, well, I wouldn't call it my campaign. Uh, Everyone at Forrester has been working really hard. I know, but it was your idea and the reason you were promoted to head of PR? Uh, yeah. Well, I would say that's quite an accomplishment, especially coming from somebody so young. Don't you think so, Pammy? Oh, yes. Congratulations, Steffi. Oh, <laughs> what, what about you, Whip? Um, I mean, does it make you nervous at this young, beautiful, sexy woman is climbing the ladder so rapidly. <laughs> well, I haven't seen what she can really do, you know. The only thing she's really produced is a lot of talk right now. Yeah, I think that's called buzz. As I said, I'd reserve my judgment until I actually see something. And that's because you're a gentleman, unlike the vultures that are circling our campaign. Oh, really? You served in some bad press with the Adam and Eve campaign? No, 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 just, you know, idle gossip. But no one has actually seen your campaign. Oh, yes, but we can all guess what it's going to look like. Uh, more skin and sin with. I know, it's definitely an unusual way to sell clothing, don't you think? Yeah. Well, Jackie M isn't just about selling clothing, ladies. It's about projecting an attitude. Which is true to any fashion house. Forrester has a certain reputation, and Jackie M has another. Oh. I don't mean that as a dig or anything. <laughs> sure. Sounded like a little dig, no, Steffi. No, no, that's okay, Pam. <laughs> Steffi's absolutely, uh, she's right. Each fashion house does have its own unique image, and it's our job as PR directors to place that image into the public consciousness by coming on shows like yours and creating campaigns that get people talking. Stirring up controversy. I mean, isn't that the real point of the Adam and Eve campaign? No, no, no. Our campaign is not a stunt. Now, if Steffi wanted to debut her campaign head-to-head -head against mine here on, uh, say, the catwalk, now that, that would be a stunt. What a fabulous idea! Oh, 
Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Whip Jones has just thrown down the gauntlet right here on the catwalk. You're not, you're not, you're not serious. The big leagues. Okay. I accept. I'll put our campaign against anyone, anytime, anywhere. What's going on? Your new PR boss is either the most confident woman in the world or the most reckless. But finding someone who's a 90% match doesn't happen every day. At least not to me. Have you been using this service for a while? <sighs> Let's just say I'm a hopeless optimist. See, our percentage is going up as we speak. I have some time right now. Let's meet and see if we click as well in person. Okay. Do you know Insomnia Coffee House in Hollywood? Does it really matter where else I could be tonight? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here with you. Let's not make this about Donna. You can't stand it, can you? <laughs> You've finally done something in your life that you cannot undo. Well, there's one thing I cannot undo, and that is our relationship with one another. Well, that's because we have children, but that's all in the past. What about now, the present? Right now, we have this. The ability to talk to one another. Tell each other the, uh, the truth, no matter how painful it might be. That's our great strength, that we can hurt one another. Look, if you had wanted to really be alone tonight, you wouldn't have let anybody know that you were coming up to Big Bear. But you're too damn proud to ask me to come up here to be with you. And that's the truth. Oh, is it? Yes. Or is it your justification for chasing me up this mountain like some kind of a stalker? <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'm glad you're here. So. We don't just bring you the fashion news at the catwalk, we make the fashion news. Our crack production team is working hard on what could be one of the most exciting showdowns this season. Adam and Eve versus Hollywood Glamour campaign. Right here on the catwalk. Stay tuned next episode for more information. And in the meantime, thanks to our special guests, Whip Jones and Steffi Forrester. I'm Donna Logan Forrester. And I'm Pamela Douglas. And we're clear. Katie's gonna kill me. What? No, you you were great. The way you stood up to whip people love that. I acted on impulse. I just I've been doing that a lot. No, look, whatever you were doing, you just keep on doing. You certainly made an impression on Bill. You're just full of surprises, aren't you?
leisure suit. Huge leisure suit. <sighs> Great, he's not here. What am I doing? Driving halfway across town to meet another stranger. Sorry, excuse me. You. You're my date. Hey, I'm impressed. Oh, yeah, well, it wasn't one of our best shows. I disagree. Whip threw you a curve and you turned it into a stay tuned moment. Yeah, well, I work. Pammy, I learned to expect the unexpected. <laughs> but poor Steffi got blindsided. Oh, I think she handled things well. Well, that, that's what I told her, but it would mean a lot more coming from you. Looks like Bill's on it. Huh. Well, if he's patting her on the back, why does she look so tense? My husband can be a bit intimidating sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, nice show, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Look, um, Whip challenged me. I reacted on impulse. That impulse is going to send our ratings through the roof. Okay, so you're okay with it? We're good. Great. Good. Good. Um, and, and hey, um, just got back from your honeymoon. I haven't really congratulated you. I heard your wedding was beautiful. In a park, very homey. Anything for my bride. Wife. That she is. Well, I hope you have a long and happy marriage. Katie's great. You're a lucky man. I'm a very lucky man. You're both. Well, uh, welcome back. I don't get up here enough, you know? Well, I don't think anyone does anymore. I don't think even Steffi and Tom ski as much. Yeah, maybe you should have gotten rid of this place. Oh, bite your tongue. Well, nobody uses it. Well, no, not like they... Like, like, not like we used to, that's mm -hmm. true. Of course, there was a time when I lived in sheer terror of walking through that door. I never knew I'd find naked rolling around in the bear rug. There was a time when that couple used to be you and me. I'm hungry. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, you sit down. I'll get us something. There must be some soup. Honey, there's stuff in the freezer, actually. Right. Okay. <gasps> Ow! Oh, my God! What? 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 What the hell is this?